So I had a friend ask me to help her with her New Year's Eve party. And you all know party planning is totally my jam. I was so happy to help her out. We decided to do a great Gatsby themed New Year's Eve party. And today's video, I'm gonna show you all the behind the scenes. So we're talking menu plan, the bar, the decor, and I'm gonna show you everything that we did kind of step by step and give you some tips along the way so that if you're inspired to throw a great Gatsby party, there's probably some good nuggets in there for you. I'm Mara from Joyful Hostess. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's get this party started. So just like planning any other party, it starts with my party planner keepsake. I got that out. My friend and I had a conversation. And besides the basics like time, location, how many people, like those kind of basics, I wanted to get from her what was the vibe that she wanted? What, how did she want her guests to feel? You know, like if she was to describe the event, what would it kind of look like? And here's what she had to say. She said she wanted it to be sophisticated, joyful, and convivial. Convivial. My friend is very smart and she uses big words, but convivial just basically means fun. So that gave me an excellent starting point. I kind of knew what she was going for. I knew we were looking at about 40 people. It was gonna be New Year's Eve. It was gonna be a cocktail party and the party would start at eight. So now it was time for me to get to work, do some brainstorming and some research. That meant heading over to Pinterest, Etsy, and of course, watching the movie for inspiration. To make sure we were on the right page, I created a mood board with the color scheme being classic black, gold, and white. The decorations, I was thinking ostrich feathers, pearls, just generally over the top, sparkly, glam, kind of what you would expect with a great Gatsby party. Next, I started with the invitation. I'll show it to you here, which I created for her in Canva. Okay, so just a word about the invitation. So as the host, the invitation's important because not only it gives practical details, right? Like the date, the time, the location, but it's also gonna be the first interaction your guests have about your event. So it's really important that it sets the right tone. It gives them a hint about what they can expect. It also is going to provide for them maybe some additional details, like in this case, because we wanted it to be sophisticated, we wanted people to dress up a bit, we made sure to include the attire on the invitation, and then as well the RSVP so that we could prep accordingly. Okay, let's talk decor. Because of the timing, because of New Year's Eve, we knew we had to secure vendors rather quickly um, because they tend to book up really fast. So I, we talked about the areas of her home that we wanted to decorate. And here's a tip, and I've shared it before, I will share it again. Instead of putting decorations, kind of a smattering of things here and there, it creates far more impact if you localize it and focus on a few key areas. So in this case for her party, we knew the key areas to decorate were gonna be the entryway, because again, we wanted that wow factor when people walked in. We wanted to have a selfie station, that was gonna be important. We were also going to decorate the bar area and also the table that had the food. So we're gonna concentrate on those four key areas. So it made it really easy for us to come up with a decorating plan that would make those four areas like have big impact instead of just scattering like a bunch of little things here and there. Does that make sense? Here's a look at some of the decor that I ordered from Amazon, Etsy, Party City, and some of it was from my own personal decor stash. We needed to have dress up items for the selfie station, so that's where the hats, the long cigarettes, the feather boas came in. And then these signs, how cute are these? These I got from a vendor from Etsy, and also some of the lawn signs came from Party City. I'll be sure to put a link to all of this in the description below for you. For the selfie station, I rented gold curtains and the backdrops and these huge candelabras from its official wedding planners. And we also booked on Cloud Divine to create the balloon arches for the entryway and for our selfie station. I draped the candelabras with feather boas and pearls to continue the theme. The printables and signs really helped to add a fun element too. Let's talk menu planning. Because it was a cocktail party, we know we wanted a sophisticated menu, but one that had food that was easy to handle. Okay, and for the menu, we wanted to be sure that most of the items were make ahead so that we could minimize the time and the fussing in the kitchen and instead focus on time with guests. 
For the gourmet pizzas that we wanted to serve before midnight, we went to a local pizza pay place, bought them frozen, and then just heated them and served them. Easy peasy. If you want the recipes for what I made for the party, I will put them in the descriptions below for you. But also those salmon, um, the salmon canapes, I've made them before. I'll put the link to the video here for you so that you can check those out. Most of the sweets were outsourced so that we could focus on the bar and the savory items. Suga Cakesicles created those elegant cakesicles that you see here and the almost too beautiful to be eaten chocolate covered strawberries. I also made a batch of cupcakes to add to the dessert table. Adding cupcake collars like these instantly elevates your cupcakes with really little effort. They look like this, you can wrap them around your cupcake, and all I did then was add some black, white, and gold glitter, and voila, we had our Gatsby cupcakes. For the bar, besides champagne, we offered a variety of different spirits, and we made sure to offer some beer and wine as well as non-alcoholic punch. I created a cocktail menu and the simple syrups needed for the 1920s inspired drinks like Gin Ricky, French 75, Bee's Knees, and Martinis, so that if guests wanted to, they could mix up their own drink. So how did it all come together? I prepared some photos for you to take a look at, and I think in the end, everyone had a great Gatsby time. Sorry, I couldn't help that. So if you like what you saw here, be sure to hit like and subscribe. That lets me know that I'm on the right track. Uh, it also lets me know that people are watching and I can continue to create things for you here on Joyful Hostess. Join me every Friday. I share videos. It's all about helping you become a more confident hostess. And I'm always open to suggestions. So if you've got suggestions and ideas for videos that you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And until next time, happy hosting.